Good morning everyone, this is Floyd Finch of the website Motorcycle.com We're getting ready to do a video product review I'm going to show you how to install a Stoptics automatic brake lamp for Mick Optics and I have a camera strapped to the back of my motorcycle and we're going to see how it works two contact 1157 bulb and replace it with the Stoptix unit and there it is and that's how it looks mounted up compared to a normal 1157 bulb Second will be zero to 40 mile an hour using a hard stop using the front brakes. And of course, the third one will be 55 ish and performing as hard a stop as I can using the front brakes. Then I will do three more tests which will involve getting up to speed first to 25 mile an hour and then deaccelerating by letting go of the throttle and downshifting. And then I will repeat that at 40 also at 55. So we'll get a test and see how this thing works.
came back in from reviewing my video from my tail light camera during this test and I'm actually quite happy with the results on this test I actually tested the racing version that they sell I had previously tried their street version which is legal in Europe and meets European and Canadian standards but I found that it wasn't really sensitive enough for me for what I was hoping to do which was to provide a backup safety system on vintage bikes it works however and if you have a crotch rocket and you're doing seriously heavy duty big city commuting or if you're a, an extreme canyon carver I would actually recommend that you get the street version instead of the racing version except for track days of course but for a vintage biker like myself and many others I would actually recommend using the racing version on the street as you've seen in the video it is sensitive enough it does have some things it's more sensitive to sudden jerky movements than the smooth stops for example an emergency downshift you grab a handful of brake in an emergency and the car pulls out in front of you which is what it's intended to do it's a backup safety system and anything that makes motorcycling safer is definitely worth considering